Hey guys, uh, current energy check-ins for the weekend. Everybody's in the house, so I decided to start, even though not everybody's settled. So it's always settled in that position. Um, Kai is goofing around here. The girl is here, I don't know if she's watching. Nothing. Well, there were squirrels, but they're gone, I think. She's waiting in anticipation for squirrels. Oscar's here waiting for him to settle down, most important settling factor. So everybody's here. So I started, even though I wasn't quite ready ready. Yeah, I got my little um, stuff too. Um, I'm still kinda, it's Thursday, I'm pre-recording this. You know, most of you know that, um, a day before, and <clears throat> I'm still kind of trying to wake up. Uh, not, not, I mean, I kind of woke up. Um, I'm trying to remember the stream that I had. <laughs> I know you love these things. Um, I, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's very similar to um, what I'm currently manifesting, which is going to take a while. But, uh, uh, it was a lot. Um, so I can't put it together quite well in terms of what I remember from it, but I was in this house, there was water there. By the way, Florida people, stay safe. Um, lots of water. I hope you're not watching from Florida because you probably had enough uh, of lots of water. But in the dream, lots of water. Um, <clears throat> um, I can't tell if it was a pool and then a big body of water or just a big body of water and I, I don't know, I, at that part I'm confused, but I was walking out from this house and I, I come across that big body of water and then I started walking, I, I was with some other people that I can't remember um, who they were but I know they were familiar. Um, and then I started walking and I um, come across this, it wasn't, it wasn't a wood, it was more like a mountain kind of looking thing, but not really, I can't even freaking describe it. There was, so I, there was a path, I took that path. I didn't walk for long, it was right there. Um, like right there. Um, but I come across this, this cliff almost kind of steep and there were a lot of people there and i'm kind of guessing it was you guys <laughs> a lot of people and then i looked to the left of that and there was this big body of water and everybody was waiting for something um i have no idea what the the energy was peaceful but it was a lot of energy in there a lot like i i i was kind of planning to go sit there and wait there uh, but I'm like, I don't even know what the hell people were waiting for in all honesty, but I'm like, well, I'm going to spend the night here. I'm going to camp here. But we didn't have tents or anything, or I, I don't know what the hell that was. And then um, I'm like, it's it's too much. It's overwhelming. It's too much energy. I need to give, give me a little bit away from this. Again, even though it was good energy, great energy was too freaking much for me to spend the night there or whatever the hell I was planning to do. So um, I start slowly but surely walking back to the house and then I hear Juno in this actual house um, playing some chimes and I wake up. So I got pulled out of it. Um, I... I I'm still putting elements together in there. I'm still putting elements together, but my God, that was a lot of people in there. A lot. Like every little corner of that cliff was covered. I don't know, it was a lot. So yeah, I came back to whew, this and then these guys are calm now, but they weren't. Um, you know, <clears throat> they eat, they play, then they sleep. So they're almost at their sleeping time. I'm almost at my waking time. 
and we're good to go i think we're um, yeah oscar settled down that's all i need he's when when oscar is unsettled i get unsettled um i don't know what's up with our energies that are so like these guys can rip the house apart i'm like oh okay when oscar is not he's got a certain en energy when it gets agitated it agitates me i don't know what what that bond is but um we're all good um so current energy check-ins squirrels still not here i think i saw one though at some point and i think she did too i don't think you can see her now do you know do you do birds squirrels anyways uh, current energy check-ins for the weekend. I'll be, uh, what will I be doing? I'll be looking into each sign individually by elements, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. Uh, it will be quick, to the point, no clarification, whatever comes out, comes out. Um, no extended for the Friday videos. Timestamps will be below, as I said, this is pre-recorded a day before. Um, Timestamps will be below in the description box, in the comment section, and on the play bar. Um, I'll be looking into where you're at energetically in regards to another energy, which could be a person, it could be a situation, it could be pretty much whatever, whatever it is you're dealing with, where that... It, and I know it gets, it gets confusing because we usually kind of, in the way we translate what we see, we kind of put it on a person, but it doesn't have to be a person. Uh, but it's easier for us to give it out in that way to, to attribute words to what we see instead of saying, oh, there's an energy here. Um, and then you kind of get lost where that energy takes you because it could relate somewhat indirectly to a person. So it's kind of like, okay, it's a person, but it doesn't have to be. That's just, you know, as a PS to that. Um, where the other energy is at in regards to you, where the connected energies are at, and then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe for each of you. Uh, roles can be reversed. And that's it. I believe that's it. You. Groomer. Groomer, groomer. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's, let's do this. Our signs, Capricorn. <clears throat> so Juno jumped down, but I can't see her. I don't know where the hell she went. I didn't see her walk out the room. Anyways. Let's see, Cappy. For those of you annoyed by last year's heater, it's back. It's starting to get cold out. I'm gonna get cold here. So the little sound in the background, which is not the water, uh, it's gonna be the heater. Um, anyways, um, mm -mm -mm, the Hierophant, the Ten of Swords, the Lovers on your side. So there's this connection that's shown up here, tied up to you. Um, you kind of carry another energy besides, you know, this... Because you're feeling something quite deep, possibly a lot of love here, possibly a lot of intensity. However, there's another energy that's extra in here that you're carrying when it comes to this connection, and that is uh, the energy of defeat. So you could be entering the situation with a preconceived notion of this is not going to go anywhere. Uh, and that's actually a fear. And if you do have that, I would look at that because it's going to create the scenario in such a way that this is probably not going to go anywhere. You know, uh, those fears of ours do that. So um, for the energy attached to you, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. So th this is a very nurturing energy. 
they are bringing in a whole lot of love. They're on the side of practicality a little bit, but that's okay. It, it kind of fits in with what they're bringing in. So they bring in a good energy to the table here. Very practical. Um, <clears throat> for the connection, the judgment card, the knight of wands, the star. I mean, it's something that the both of you wants. Wants. God. Want. Um... Once, because I'm looking, I don't know why, I'm kind of getting this energy as belonging more on this side rather than yours. Even though I see desire on your side and I see the recognition of this connection. However, I'm getting that this energy belongs more to this other side. Um, but again, I'll put it on both of you. Because it does come through from the both of you. It's a matter of how you bring it to the table, but the desire is on both parts here. Uh, for things to work out, there's attraction there, so... Oh, there's Juno. Let's see what the universe has. Two of Swords, Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands. Yeah, sometimes there's confusion that's popping in here and I kind of get it because your energy is all up for this. It's like, okay, I'm giving to this, I want this, there's desire here, there's all good things. But you also have confusion and the confusion belongs to this Ten of Swords, which is that fear that's shown up, that preconceived notion that mm, maybe things are not going to go anywhere or maybe at some point this is eh, probably going to be done, you know, um, quite unhappy i don't know i don't know what that fear is telling you but it's there it's it's definitely attached to you so that could create a little bit of overthinking and a little bit of like a like a bumpy road at times um but overall the energy is for this so and that's it that is it Cap oh maybe get the rest of the cards Moving on to Taurus. Okay, now Juno left the room. First time I didn't see her, I'm like, where is she? And then she came and played with Kai for a little bit. And then she left the room. Now everybody's sleeping. Well, I'm trying to wake up. That's not fair. When is that fair? What world is that? Ooh. What is happening here? Ooh, 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 ooh. On your side, you get the King of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. You're coming in quite rough here. Your energy is quite rough. Um, quite cutting. It almost looks like, you know, it looks like you're removing obstacles because you are heading in a direction. Your energy is heading in a direction and you're kind of removing obstacles. But like with this sword right here, uh, for some reason in this reading for you, it comes through as, you know, kind of slashing through those obstacles. Like, you know, um, so I don't know exactly what's happening here. You are cutting left and right by the looks of it. Um, quite logical, quite, quite strict about things here. I'm not sure where you're going, but I'm gonna assume you're going towards this energy that's attached to you. Um, possibly not consciously directed there. Energetically speaking, that's the direction though. Um, the energy attached to you, the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Hierophant. All right, there's love here, there's pain here, and there's a, a feeling of a deep connection um, on their side. That's it. Uh, for the connection, the Judgment card, the Queen of Cups, the Empress. It's like love is calling you out. Love is like towards it. It's, it's luring you, but... And I feel like that's, again, that's the direction in which you're going, but you're so focused and kind of like nothing stands in my way kind of a thing. 
but a little aggressive, a little harder. And I'm like, how does that match love, the calling of love? You know, that's that's my predicament here. Like, how? how? You're willing to tear everything down to get to that love, but it's like, some, something doesn't click there. Um, so yeah, for the connection, there's plenty of love here. Um, it is coming through from one of you in particular, and I kind of get the sense that it's the energy attached to you that's, again, kind of calling you towards it. And you hear the call, and you follow the call, but again, with pretty rough um, energies towards it. Almost could be that you're angry that you didn't follow the call or that you're taking your time to follow the call or you didn't hear the call until now. I don't know. You know, there's there's a little bit of frustration in there on your way to this. Not frustration on love, frustration on the things that kept you behind. Um, let's see what the universe has. Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, the Empress. Yeah, this is definitely a match. Whoever this Empress is to you, they're showing up quite strong in your reading. And it could be... Not with that King of Swords, it's not. Um, it could be you, though. We'll put it on that. But uh, I kind of get this as this other side of the table here, of the energies. Um, and whoever they are, they're definitely a match, and you're definitely on your way to one another in terms of you're gonna meet halfway eventually. I don't know when, because you're looking like you're moving slow and you're busy here cutting things down. Um, and they're kind of... Meanwhile, they're going through their own changes, their own transformation, but they're staying in their power and with this, um, energy of love just kind of radiating. That's why you see it. Okay, good stuff. Just take it easy. But that's it. Moving on to Virgo. Squirrels this year, I should make a photo album with where they put their uh, nuts. So there's one in an oak tree where they put it there to just hide, which I can see from right here. Um, there's one in a birdhouse. There was one on the hose. Um, you know how the hose has that on off kind of a switch. It was in between the switch and the, the hose thing um where else under some uh stuff i had outside for the patio like right under it like they, they probably lift that thing i don't even think they lift it up they just pushed it in there um uh, behind the lights the garage lights um I, you just look around and you'll see it right in front of me basically I, they're they're funny as hell this year. Like, I'm 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 just looking to see. They 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 place them right in front of me, and they're like, I hit it. And that's a good tactic, you know. A lot of people don't see what's right in front of them, so it's like, okay. I think that's their lesson for this year. Like, look right in front of you. Okay. Um, but let's see, Virgo. They're funny. Okay, on your side, you get uh, Nine of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Five of Cups. There's some healing that needs to be done on your part, and you're very resistant to it. You're like, no. You know that you need to go in there and heal certain things from the past, and your energy keeps saying no to it. It's like, no, 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 no. But you got, no. But for, no. You, no. 
that kind of a deal. Um, regardless of your nose, um, it's still happening just because you know it's there. It's still in the awareness, so it's, it's somehow in the background. There's still some amount of healing to that, even as much as you're like, no. Um, anyways, the energy attached to you, the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Death card. Well... Someone really stands firm in their decision here attached to you. And their decision might be that of not opening up at this time. Not talking, not nothing. There's this, no, I'm not, I'm not going to open up my energy to this. Nope. I've got two very stubborn people here. Two people that are dealing with a lot of no. Now, for the connection, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Cups, the Hermit. Well, things are going to change, at least for you, they're going to. Um, they're going to turn back around into a little bit of a better place. Um, there is an energy of, okay, you know what, let's just drop it and let's just move on, on your side at least. Um, and the minute you do that, healing is going to start. You know, because you're dropping that resistance with this too. It's it's kind of like you're doing this right now to spite one another, to be like, well, I'll show you. No, I'll show you. Uh, uh. Almost like your healing certain things would be getting your revenge on them or something like that. In the way that it's perceived right now. But things are changing um, <clears throat> for you, for the better. So, let's see what the universe has. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the World card. Yeah, it's it's something that's probably coming to a close. It's not coming to a close in a pretty way. It's kind of looking quite no, quite resistant, quite a little spiteful. Um, but there seems to be that a situation is coming to a close. I, I don't know what kind of a if it's. Uh, I don't see it to be romantic, but it could be. Um, but something is gone, basically. So um, even though the energy is looking a little rough right now, just so you know, it's gonna change for you, for the better. So that's it. Moving on to fire signs, Aries. On your side, you get the Nine of Swords, the Hierophant, the Judgment card. You're going through a very healing period of time. Well, through your healing, you're going through a painful kind of chapter of healing here. Uh, there's some something that keeps you a little bit in your head here. Something that stresses you out a little bit. But it, it's all tied up to something very transformative for you, very healing. Uh, quite important, quite big, but it is stressful in the way that you're experiencing. Um, not not pleasant at all. Uh, it is tied up to a possible connection you have with someone, by the looks of it. Now, the energy attached to you, the Page of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. They have love, they have passion, they just don't know what to do with it. What do I do with this? Well, I feel this, and I feel that, and I feel the other. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What do I do with it? I don't know. They don't know. I don't know. You just feel it. How about that? Start there. Um, the connection, the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Wands. 
Ah, well, they don't want to follow how they feel, and what they feel is pushing them in a particular direction, and they see that, and they acknowledge that, but they're like, nah, why would I go there? Well, then why are you asking me what to do with it? Because I don't think this is you. You're not in moving energies by what I can see. They could be. Um, yeah, it's like you're asking me what to do with it, but then you're being guided you know, in terms of what to do with it, but you're like, no, I don't want to do that. Well, then, why do you ask? Don't ask me. I can tell you what I see here, but I don't tell you what to do. You tell yourself what to do. Anyways, let's see what the universe has here. Six of Cups, King of Wands, the World card. There's, uh, that's why it's a little stressful for you because you're you're coming close to an ending of a cycle here. Uh, I don't know what kind of cycle it could be, just about anything. As I said, I see you going through a lot of healing tied up to this connection. Um, so it could be anything that you're healing tied up to this that's coming to a close. It could be, um, who knows. Who knows what kind of chapter in this healing you're, you're closing off. But it's a painful one. That I can see. Not an easy one. But it leaves you um, a little more lighter. A little like more into your power. You know, so that's good. You're, you're stepping back into your power after this. It's not, it's not that heavy to the point of, oh my god, Aries not functioning. Um, there's something there. There's something there that's unpleasant, so... And, you know, without unpleasantness, we wouldn't heal. So I kind of get it. So that's it. Mm, that's what I have for you. Moving on to Leo. just thought like this this something came through um i'm not even gonna, yes i will oh man sometimes it's it's just so freaking funny to be human and to be like with all the human traits and all the doubts and all the not listening to your intuition not listening to i just thought when i was kind of getting the cards uh, that I missed my table. And no, I do not get attached to things in general. The only thing I got attached to, the only one, was my former, former car. Which I don't get, but that's, I mean, that's my, that's my baby. Uh, and when they took it away, I was like... Um, but my current car, I got one that was the better version of that one. So I'm like, oh. Anyways, that was the only thing. The table part is not an attachment. Uh, it's, this is a little bumpy and I don't know if I like that. Uh, it looks great, it's amazing. It's, I don't know if it's in tune with me for this. I'm still kind of trying to debate that. Um, but if I do bring my table back, there, were, there will be some changes made to it which I'll see how that goes. I might completely ruin it or change it. We'll see. But yeah, that's it about the table. Let's get to you, Leo. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, speaking of your intuition, Leo, um, okay, 
Okay, on your side, you get the Seven of Swords, the Tower, the Three of Pentacles. Almost looking like you're avoiding a disaster here. Um, but but it's not... It is tied up to a partnership, a friendship, um, it could even be love. I don't know. There's a bond you have with someone here. And you're looking like you're in charge of avoiding some sort of disaster when it comes to this. In terms of... I kind of see you picking up on something. And bringing it to the situation in such a way that it avoids something nasty. Um, I have no idea how to explain this one. Because I still see this connection attached to you, but I see you being in charge of not letting this tower fall on it. It's almost like catching something while it's happening or before it's happening and pr being able to prevent something from happening here. Um, something not great. So, I don't know. Uh, for the energy attached to you, the Eight of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. Someone's opening up to you here. Someone's saying something. Someone's doing something. I don't know. You're seeing something. You're getting something out of this energy. But they are also open to express something to you. Maybe energetically. Maybe through words. Maybe someone's coming over to reach out or to... to to reach out for help, to ask for help. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Because there is a, a some sort of, a, they open, you get it, and run with it, and make it happen. Something's happening here. Uh, but their energy is coming from, they, they carry a lot, they bring in a lot. They unfold a lot for you to work with. But I see you doing it. I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's it's a load, but it's managed quite well. Um, <clears throat> for the um, connection, the High Priestess, the Four of Cups, the King of Wands. Someone's really regretful here. Maybe that's what they're bringing in. Maybe that's what they're unpacking. Someone's really regretful of not listening to their intuition about you something that involves you not following how they felt not following their intuition and i feel like that's what they're bringing in that's what they're throwing in your lap and you're like okay well let's work with this you know kind of a thing um okay i just want my table back that's all i say you know because i'm a leo too i'm like what 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 how does that apply to my table? Well, it can. It can, actually. It can. You know. I'm changing it for the better. It's coming back at me. It's calling. Okay. Anyways, um, <clears throat> let's see what the universe has. I never really put myself in there. I read, I read, I read. And when I take that break to get back from the reading and realize, oh, hold on, I'm a Leo. This, I think this was the first time in probably years when I'm like, does this apply to me and my table situation? But I never really do. Uh, you know, because people ask, do you put yourself in the readings? You know, a dove came over. Um, Six of Wands, Page of Wands, Seven of Wands. Yeah, there's a sense of achievement. There's a sense of, as I said, I see this this situation coming through and it's, it's a little tangled up in something and you manage to untangle it. Even though you kind of don't want it, you still kind of succeed at it. So there's definitely that involvement of you in this and then you make it happen. So, ah. I don't even know what the hell this is. Maybe it's as simple as, yeah, maybe you do have a friend that's going through shit and you're like, okay, let's see. You know, who the hell knows? Let's see what can be done. Moving on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius. 
So what the hell do I do with this table? I make it a shelf because it can be made a shelf. If I... Oh god, here we go. Okay, I got a project and I'm just gonna keep it to myself and then we'll see. On your side, you get the strength card that for some reason flipped out in reverse when I picked it from the floor. Um, Page of Wands, the Justice card. All right, so remember, I don't know if you were watching the beginning of this video when I mentioned the dream and, you know, stuff happened in there. And then I reached this big ass amount of energy that was great, but so freaking overwhelming. And this is where I kind of see you. Like, you're in this place of trying to keep it steady. There's a whole lot of great energy you're dealing with. And I've seen you stepping in this recently through your readings. Um, I kind of see you at times, not all the time, but at times struggling with staying in it, being stable in it. You know, kind of like, oh my god, this is great. Let's, let's keep at it. Let's stay in it. Um, you're trying, you're doing it overall. But with the strength in reverse, this has kind of given me that sense of <clears throat> sometimes I feel like it's too much. I, I just want to get, get the hell out of Dodge, you know? Um, so it's very similar to that kind of, um, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. I need a break from it or just take it away. It's too much, you know? Um, but no, you're still actively trying to keep it together and keep yourself in it by the looks of it. Uh, the energy attached to you, the Empress, the Knight of Cups, the Magician. Well, somebody's manifesting great, great, great energy here of love, of... There's something quite nice going on here. And it's coming from the both of you, you know, uh, working together, meeting halfway and energetically creating something quite nice. Um, I don't see you in there 100% in terms of... Almost like you don't even have to because the energy is great on its own. Um, but you do have to bring in your participation to keep it, to sustain it there. Um, <clears throat> so it's like it's so effortless on your side sometimes, but it's so much that it's like, ah. But whatever they're bringing in, they're bringing in their share of things. Kind of the same frequency, the same, I don't know. There's love, there's happiness, there's... Um, empowerment there's all sorts of good things that are coming through here for the connection the king of swords the queen of cups the sun yeah balance the mind and the heart that creates this beautiful energy there's happiness all around i mean your reading overall ends with the with the sun that's the happiest card in the deck so cool let's see what the universe has <clears throat> Four of Swords, the Empress, the High Priestess, lots of healing, lots of alignment, like you're, you're there, you, this would be a reading of you made it, you're there, you know, you're at the core of you, with a lot of healing still ongoing, still happening, so I don't know what the hell is going on, your energy is freaking amazing, um, the way it's shown up, hopefully you can sustain it here, usually it's hard, to sustain for long periods of time, times, but I'm happy you got here because even if you fall off of it, you'll know how to get back, you know? So, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I look at the squirrel and it's looking, I think, for a nut in the ground, but I don't know why. Look on the table, that's where you put him this year, you know, out in plain sight. You don't have to dig. It's not like you dug to hide it or anything. So 
out there. Moving on to air signs, Libra. <clears throat> Ah. I uh, took him to the groomers. He didn't have much. He, he had like probably five knots in total, not even. And he was so fluffy when he came back and he was smelling different and this guy hissed at him the whole day. And then the next day he was back to normal. Smelling like his old Kai self. All right, um, on your side, you get the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, the Eight of Wands. Uh, there could be conversations taking place in which I feel like you're not necessarily listening to your intuition. So on your side, you could be initiating all sorts of, yeah, let's talk about this or let's do this or let's do that. Um, but I don't see you tuned into your intuition you know, through initiating these, kind of like, okay, let's do this, let's do this. So you, for some reason, you're out of balance here when it comes to your intuition. Um, it's not showing up as, oh my God, the end of the world, but more like pay more attention to your intuition. You know, when it comes to initiating certain things, um, addressing certain people or certain you know, approaching certain energies, who knows. Um, for the energy attached to you, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, there's energy coming towards you, very passionate, very fiery, very open, very willing to, to, to participate in something here with you. Um, for the connection, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Swords. That's it, because I'm seeing this as a pretty helpful energy, or trying to be a pretty helpful energy. It's like someone's trying to get back from something. Something happened here. And someone's not only trying, they're doing it. You know, get back to, to being balanced, to back to themselves, basically. And it could be you. It could be you. But I do see you getting a lot of assistance, a lot of help from the outside. All right, well, let's see what the universe has. Fluffy. Fluffy, fluff. No. He wasn't sleeping. He tricked me. Five of Wands, Three of Cups, Knight of Wands. Yeah. Getting things into a better place. Someone's trying. It's this Knight of Wands, whoever they are to you. Um, they're almost like looking like they want to work with you to get things back on track, to get things back on, into a beautiful energy. Because for right now, they're looking a little off. A little off. Yeah, good energy overall. Um, and I see you pretty open to working with this other energy, so. Okay. Let's see. Moving on to Aquarius.
Okay, on your side, you get the Page of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Wands. There's happiness knocking at your door, or you're knocking at the door of it. Uh, it's kind of like one of those things where you know it's there, you know it's coming, but not just now. So you're giving me a little bit of a pause before happiness. But you know about this happiness. You feel this happiness, it's like it's there. You, you, you almost have it guaranteed um, somehow. So it's kind of like, it's coming. It's coming. It'll come. The energy attached to you, the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Wands. Whoa. I have no idea through, like, what capacity this is attached to you. From, uh, there's... You're giving me very <clears throat> different energies when it comes to good ones. Both energies are good when it comes to coming together here. You're giving me a whole lot of more lighter, loving kind of an energy. They're giving me more practical, grounded, uh, a little bit different, a little bit confusing here for me to put them together. They do work together perfectly, but I'm like, but how did they get there? Maybe that's why there's a waiting time, the pause. I don't know. Um, whoever, whatever this is, very um, nurturing, very passionate, very up for let's do things together, let's build together kind of a thing. Okay. For the connection, the Three of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. Oh, is that it? It could be that someone needs a little time to heal certain things, to go through certain things, and then it's like, oh, okay, and then we can meet, you know, and do stuff here. I don't know who's who and who's doing what, and but there is a little bit of something in the way, and that's what's creating the break that you're showing me, basically. And it's like, first I need to deal with this, and then we'll come and address this kind of a thing. Let's see what the universe has. <clears throat> seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone's not showing up. Not quite yet. Not now. Someone's not showing up for this now. And I kind of see why not now. Because again, someone's um, in that place of taking care of something else. Their energy is someplace else right now. And it's in a place of healing. So, uh, but for right now, pause. Nothing's really working in this direction for now. That's it. <coughs> Moving on to Gemini. Where do chipmunks go in the winter? I should look that up. Where do they go? Scrolls I see around, chipmunks, no. Do they hide in between? Well, I hear that they make nests and I see also that they make nests in uh, piles of wood or, you know, but I don't know if they spend the winter there. Anyways, let's see, Jimmy. side you get the page of swords the eight of wands the world card okay there were some attempts little attempts very small attempts left on your side um to either talk to someone or to to give energy in their direction whoever this is to you 
very small, remaining very, very small, kind of like, you know, maybe send them a happy birthday on their birthday, you know, and that's it, once a year or something. Very, very small attempts were left on your side, and I feel like even those are kind of, yeah, not, not, not doing that anymore. Um, on their side, the Death card, the Seven of Pentacles, the Moon, they're showing up as gone from the existence of the planet Earth. I don't know. There's, there's like, well, they're not here. But then they're showing me the synergy. They're very private. No, they're not private. Um, they're hiding. They're hiding here. They're not giving me much. They're giving me a sense of, you know what? I'm busy. D and D. That's that's the message I'm getting from them. D and D. This is closed. Closed shop. Thank you. See you when we open. When do you open? We don't know. Now for the connection, which is this is what's blowing my mind every time. Um, the fool, the six of pentacles, the six of wands. Things are going fine here. I don't know. What are you complaining about? <laughs> Things are perfect. No. Um, no, there's the desire on both parts for... Um, on both parts, there's the desire for things to actually work out. It's not that big. It's, it's kind of like a hope more than a desire. Like, I, you know, even though this is nothing right now or this is D&D &D right now, you know, on both sides, yeah. It would be great if things would actually work out, you know. Because the energies available are quite good, are quite favorable for this to work out. However, free will here like no tomorrow. You know, the shop opens whenever they want to. You're like, ah, well, if their shop is closed, where, where the hell am I going to go? I'm not going to go to their shop because it's closed. Why waste time? But, energetically speaking, the energies could be favorable here. Nobody's taking those, though. So, until then, shop remains closed. Let's see what the universe has. Hangman, the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, there's a process of moving on here, possibly on your side. It's quite slow because the situation is just kind of up in the air. And I feel like it's been up in the air for a very long time. And even though the energies are available and, you know, well-intended, there's still the energy of, you know what, I'm still kind of in the direction of, let's, let's get the hell out of Dodge. This shop is, who knows, you know. For how long it's going to be closed, so I'm not going to wait for this shop here. I'm going to go look for another shop. So, that's it. On to water signs, Pisces. I didn't want to eat breakfast, and now I'm hungry. It's almost lunch. No. Yeah. No. I mean, it is, but did I shuffle? That? I think I finished shuffle. I think I. Yeah. Anyway. Let's see what's going on. Okay, on your side you get the Devil, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups. I feel like things um, have changed for the better here for you. You and whoever this is are coming out of something quite nasty. I don't know what the hell it is. It looks unhealthy. It looks damaging to this 
dynamic to this relationship, but you are coming more into a place of emotional balance. So you're starting to, to feel like you're coming out of it slowly but surely, and you're starting to feel more like yourself here. Um, um, their side, the tower, the hangman, the six of swords. You know what? I would translate this as someone created a mess, they didn't do shit about it, and now they're just kind of walking away from it. Um, I don't know how consciously this is, I don't know how intentional this is, but it kind of looks like that. Like, I'm just destroying this room, I'm looking at it instead of just putting it back together. No, I'm just looking at it and then I'm like, well, fuck this shit and I'm out. Kind of like that. So I don't know what the hell happened here. Uh, for the connection, the High Priestess, the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, a lot of self-nurturing, a lot of self here towards you. So I don't know if this energy just kind of came through your life, left a little bit of a mess and walked out, or if you walked out of something here. But intuitively, you're being guided towards you, towards self-nurturing, self-love, taking care of yourself. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. Um, let's see what the universe has. Seven of Cups, Six of Swords, the Star. Yeah, your desire currently is that of, uh, I just, I just want to move on from this. I don't even know what this says to you. It doesn't have to be love. But anything else that comes with this kind of an energy, it's probably not pretty. Regardless, if it's love, if it's not, you know, if it's romantic, if it's a friendship, if it's whatever it is. So you're in the energy of I'm moving on. Okay. That's it. Moving on to Scorpio. Clean energies here. Uh, in the on your side, the page of swords, the nine of cups, the seven of pentacles. You're working a lot on yourself, you know, on feeling that balance within yourself, feeling it, not thinking it, you know, just just kind of getting into the feeling of um, that balance within. Um, That's the focus, that's the intention. The actual action is not a lot. You might be distracted or preoccupied with who knows what else, but that's the focus, that's your goal, and that's where your energy goes, even if it's just a little tiny bit there. You know, two minutes a day rather than half hour a day. Who knows? Um, On this energy side, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the World card. <laughs> They're coming through at the end of a cycle here. There is love here on their side. I don't know why I get this Knight of Swords kind of away from you, but I don't feel that affects you in any kind of way. There is an energy that is attached to you through love, through the heart. They are giving someplace else too. Which doesn't have to be a problem. Maybe, maybe they have kids, maybe they have friends, maybe they have family. Who knows? You know, it's not like, oh yeah, they're cheating. No, it doesn't have to be that. Because I see a, a, a... I don't see only one energy here. I see quite a few. Quite a few. I don't know if this is a group for you, a group of friends, a group of 
people you work with, people you surround yourself with. I don't, I don't know. For the connection, the Empress, the King, the Queen of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Yeah. I mean, all are great energies, so it, it makes sense that it's someone that, especially when you know your frequency and where you're hanging out energetically, you're going to attract that, or you're going to want to go towards that. And this is what I'm getting here. It's kind of like your soul family almost um because it's good energies it's matching energies and everybody brings something to the table where it's creating something quite nice as a whole so i don't freaking know what this is for you but it feels good um and it helps you a lot to step more into into yourself into that balanced place within yourself okay Let's see what the universe has then. Six of Wands, Two of Cups, Six of Swords. It's like you have your whole group of friends supporting you, cheering you on, like, I'm... But, I mean, it is... It's kind of like it's shown up surrounding love, but you're not in the direct contact with that love, almost like getting over something, or you got over something, and it's through the help of these energies, and it's like very supportive very cheering you on like yay scorpio you did it kind of a thing you know almost celebratory i don't even know what the hell is going on here i just know you got a team of energies here backing you up so that's always good but that's it <clears throat> Moving on to Cancer. Fluffy fluff. Are we waking up? Wakey wakey, no. On your side, you get the King of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. I'm trying to figure out, someone wants to leave here. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's, but someone wants to leave and the other person doesn't want to let go of this. Uh, it's showing up on your side as if I know what I gotta do. And I know exactly how I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it. So I don't know. And do it meaning surrounding an energy of separation, split, loss. So I'm, I would translate this as you want to go. You want to go get the hell out of Dodge here when it comes to another situation. Um, the energy attached to you, the King of Wands, the Nine of Swords, the Sun. They don't want to. They don't want to go, they don't want you to go. You know, it seems like it's something quite painful. They are bringing in a whole lot of happiness here, a whole lot of... But look what you would be missing if you went, kind of a thing. I don't know. Um, I don't see anybody going. I just see the energy is kind of like, yeah, I'm going. Or I'm doing this. But I don't know. For the connection... Oh my, uh, the nine of pentacles, the eight of wands, the hangman. I don't see anybody going, but I do see someone not attached to the situation. So they're, they're just sitting there, but they're not attached to it, but they're not going anywhere kind of a thing. 
Um, there could be a conversation about this. I would really suggest a conversation about this or if somebody's waiting for, okay, let's, let's talk. Let's, let's figure it out. Um, man, it's one of those somebody's gone, but they're still here kind of a thing. Um, energetically, they're, you know, they're not, they're not attached to this anymore. Um, I don't know. See what the universe has. The Tower, the Knight of Swords, the Hangman. Somebody's scared. Somebody's scared to physically get the hell out of Dodge. Because energetically, as I said, they seem like they are out. Um, but they're scared that who knows what's going to happen. And if someone is staying because the other person can't accept that they want to be out, you're not doing anybody a favor. You know, because it kind of seems like I'm not going because who knows what's going to happen. They're going to do this if I go. They're not your responsibility. You know, your well-being is. And it doesn't make sense to see an energy of someone being gone out of the picture and holding themselves physically because of who knows what reasons in the same place, holding themselves physically there. That's... Anyways. That's it. That's what I got for you guys. Um, Kai left. Alex is here. Oscar is here. Kai just left the room. He knows we're done. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to make up my mind about what I want to do. At the freaking table. But, um. Yeah. <clears throat> That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for um, tuning in. Nobody's here anymore. The birds, uh, everything's gone. Like, hmm? Oh, we have a dub. We have a dub. Anyways, um, thanks. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I will try my best to figure out what the hell to do with the table. Uh, which, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this table. It feels like it's not in sync with me for this for some reason there's something something some little tiny little thing that's not clicking there for me and i can't figure it out and i don't want to figure it out there's just if there's something there there's something there and that's that just gonna go be creative with the other table and as i said <clears throat> there's two options either i mess it up completely or i make it into something new so um, I will see you guys next time I see you. Bye.